This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse. And I'm up at about, what is it, 2 in the morning? To show you a little something. A demo of a game called Undertale, which is currently on Kickstarter, even as we speak. That I have supported already. But I actually have yet, uh... I haven't actually played it yet. Yeah, I guess it's kind of an impulse buy, but I hear a lot of my friends recommending this thing, so I've decided to try it out. Okay, humans and monsters. That is a big monster. Holy crap. Humans are victorious. Oh dear. Them humans. Sealed the monsters underground. Okay, Undertale. Twenty one X Mega Man much Mega Man Legends? <laughs> Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Oh dear, that child. That poor curious child. Oh, it's a vine. Oh crap. That, uh... Well, that must have been quite a fall. <laughs> Holy Jesus. How do you survive that? From the perspective, that's gotta be one massive, massive drop. Holy crap. Okay. Well, now we're here. Okay. Confirm, cancel, menu. I did read the manual, but... The letters are supposed to twitch, right? Looks a little weird to me. I did read the manual. It had a good sense of humor, actually. So, when the manual has a good sense of humor and is written well, it gives me some hope for the game. So... Uh, the name's all shaky and weird. Yeah, that that's correct. It's Tanara. Yep, yep, yep. Tanara, 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 something. Tanara. Okay, um... So that's why we survived. We landed in a patch of flowers, because that will totally cushion you from a ten-story fall. Where am I? Where am I? I have no clue where I am. Lost, frightened, confused, good! <laughs> oh dear, wait, we go this way. Okay. Where am I? Flowey. Flowey the flower. Okay. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Yeah, you think? Did the big thud that when I landed give it away? Golly, you must be so confused. Tell me about it. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Um, sure, that'd be nice. I guess little old me will have to do... How do I know you aren't going to try and kill me with some weird flower power or something? Like you're going to launch spores at me or some crap. Ready? Here we go. Wait, what's going on? See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Oh dear. I'm controlling my soul. I guess I can't get out of this box. Can't get out of my body, I guess. It makes sense. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. A lot of levels, right? What's LV stand for? My love, of course. Love. Okay, so you love up. <laughs> you want some love, don't you? From a flower? That sounds kind of freaky, actually. Never mind that. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Duh. Okay, it's winking at me now. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. What kind of drugs are you peddling, flower? Flowey? How do I know you're not an underground drug dealer? Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Ha, I knew it. You're evil, idiot. 
In this world, it's kill or be killed. Uh, okay, the flower is evil. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! Wow, that... Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Ah. Oh my gosh! Thank you. What a cretin torturing such a poor innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. Hi. Ah, what a time to be a furry. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Is that that must be a common occurrence around here? You should really clean up the vines up there. Somebody should. Then again, I guess nobody's ever up there. Never mind it. Thank you for saving me. You are the first human to come here in a long time. So I'm not the first. <laughs> come. I will guide you through the catacombs. Thank you. Are you a lady? I don't want to be rude if you're not. But thank you, monster lady. That's very kind of you. Because I'm kind of lost. The shadow of the runes looms above, filling you with determination. So this is where we save. Okay, cool. So that flower was evil. I was like, how oh, do I know you're not evil? I accidentally called that. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. You're not gonna kill me this time, right? You're not evil, are you? The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, so we go like this? Am I gonna need to- I hope I don't need to memorize these things. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of them? Or is this just as a tutorial? Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. What happens if I flip this one? The switch doesn't even work. Okay. I was afraid my curiosity was going to kill me there. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation- Wait, what? Strike up a friendly conversation. Okay, so if a monster attacks me, make small talk. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. What? Practice talking to the dummy. Um... Wait, what? I guess I am a child, so it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me to fight, but I'm confused now. You encountered the dummy. Oh my goodness. Can I fight it? <laughs> Boosh! Ah, the dummies are not for fight. Oh, whoops. They are for talking. <laughs> we do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Um. Well, if he told me how to talk, that would have been great. I just saw a fight and thought, I'm gonna hit the dummy. I guess they're fragile. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Um. What happens if we do try and talk to it? I'm going to compliment it. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Oh. <laughs> that glare. <laughs> She's like. Well, that's the first time I've seen her glare at anything there. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. Yeah. 
I figured that had something to do with it. Guess she was scared that I couldn't figure it out or something. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Yeah, when they involve deadly spikes, they sure do. You have done excellently thus far, my child. Well, I haven't done a whole lot yet. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. What? I'd like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Okay, that's such a difficult request. <laughs> Forgive me for this. Ow. Such dramatic music. Something's not right here. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. Well, it's better than the last thing I trusted, stupid flower. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Or, to put it in other words, it is dangerous to go alone. Is she going to give me something? Take this, it will help you on your quest. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. There we go. She gave me an item. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Take this cell phone. It will help you on your quest to be here alone. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm too curious to stay in the room. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination, and therefore a safe point. What is this? It says, take one. You took a piece of candy. Monster candy. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. That's oddly specific. Distinct non-licorice flavor. That's not very distinct at all, is it? Weapon, stick, armor, bandage. What the heck? This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to try the other options later, but for right now I'm curious. Oh! Oh dear. It's another froggit. Ah, oh, froggit. Check. Froggit, attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Okay, I want to avoid those things. What is that on the bot? Ow. Ah, yeah, yeah. Man, it's scared of everything. Huh. Okay, I can just spare it. It was scared to fight me. That's kind of nice. Don't have to be terrible and mean to. Ah! Crap. Uh. Oh dear. Ah! Oh wait a minute. Eh. Ah! I'm gonna threaten it. Make it scared and then get show it some mercy. I just gotta scare it a little, right? Ah. Okay, goody. Alright. 
That was... Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um... I guess I like butterscotch better. See, thank you very much. What, is she going out to buy candy? What the heck? You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I don't really dislike cinnamon. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. What about... What if this is one of the one of four? Ah, well. Eh. Wimshun appeared... Approached meekly. Check. Attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wimshun avoids... Wimsun avoids eye contact. Terrorize it! You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimsun freaks out. I can't handle this. <laughs> I'm terrorizing you. Wimsun is hyperventilating. Dude, just... Just go, be cool. Oh dear. Ah! Okay. Please don't step on the leaves. What if I want to step on the leaves? If I want to step all over them? Oh. I'm gonna check with this thing. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. <laughs> Scorch. Okay, I gotta avoid that. Whoops. I'm just gonna imitate it. You lie immobile with Mold's Ball. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. You're like you're basically jello. Oh dear, the bullet patterns. What if I flirt with it? You wiggle your hips, Moldsmall wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> so how do I like, can I spare this thing? get over that. Hmm. Okay, I have to get over there somehow. Whoop. Oh, wait, I see what it's doing now. You don't want to walk on the leaves in the room above. Ah, oh, come on. Well, they're not gonna listen to me yet. Okay. I'm gonna threaten them. Well, one of them's threatened. I just gotta start terrorizing the other one. Froggit doesn't seem to know why it's here. We're going to threaten the other one. But it was scared anyway. Maybe that scared him enough. Yay! We got some gold. Or something. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Oh, dang it. Ah. Okay, let's, uh... Try that again. Grr. Get away from me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to punch you in the face. In the face. Or do you not understand me? 
actually doesn't understand me. It told me that. It's not gonna understand any of this crap I'm saying. Okay. Okay, over here. There we are. Okay. Eh. Random encounters. Line of mold smalls. Oh dear. Oh, well, okay. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Oh dear, a talking rock. Hmm? Want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, 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 wrong way. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Is that helpful? Yes, it was. Weird talking rock. How very strange. Hey, get away from me! Weird molds molds. I don't want to flirt with a jello again. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. <laughs> Moves off. Freaking sentient rocks. No, no. Don't make me fight you now. Nah. Hey, smack you with a stick. And then I run. Wee. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh dear, that's pretty bad when you got cheese stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. That's a strange thing to fill with determination. Hello, mouse. Wow. That... I really don't want to eat the cheese if it's stuck to the table. Hello? Are they gone yet? <laughs> this ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Hmm, I might have to move it with force. <laughs> z, 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 z. <laughs> it's not even very good at pretending to sleep, is it? Come on now! Napsta Bluk. <laughs> Let's cheer! Heh. Hey, well, what the- da 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 What the heck? Amsta Blue, attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna float with the crazy thing and just weigh you down. My goodness. Just a little bit better. How many just a little bit better does it take? Move out of the way, man! Move out of the way, man! Come on! Go ahead to it. My goodness. Ah, crap. Move out of the way, man! Ah. <sighs> Come on, man. Ah. So I can't let it go back and forth or anything. I gotta hit it the first time. Got it. Did not know that. Move out of the way, man. Come on. Ha. 
That's right, man. Not gonna hit me. Come on, just get out of the way. I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice here, eh? Come on. Yeah, I said move out of the way, eh? I said move out of the way, see? You're not gonna move out of the way, I'm gonna beat you out of the way, see? With my stick. Come on, get out of the way. Man. I wanna spare this guy, but he's making it real hard to do. Whew! That was a sweet dodge. My gosh. Ah, balls. You know what? I'm gonna beat you out of the way. Seriously, man. Damn. Ugh. Dang it. This guy's gonna end up killing me. Move! Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sorta incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. <laughs> Last one experience point. Meh. I was trying to spare him. Friggin' thing. Making it really difficult. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spi- Of spiders? Wait a minute. So the spiders are cannibals? Ay ay ay. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Do I even have 18 gold? Question is what I I do not. Fine. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Okay then. Strange. Okay, man. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. That thing kept wanting to fight me, though. There's just one switch. I really need some health or some. Oh dear, that thing looks scarier. Check. Don't pick on him. Oh yeah, who's gonna stop me? I'm gonna pick on you anyway. Rude little snipe, oh dear. The attacks got more intense. More intense. Um, I'm gonna eat that spider donut. How about a staring contest? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Smells like eye drops. Okay, don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Yay. Whee! Nope, that's not the switch. Ah! Okay, it's giant living freaking carrot. Vegetoid. Check. Serving size, one monster, not monitored by the USDA, contains vitamin A. Oh, jeez. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. 
Perhaps if I just talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. But, never mind. Vegetoid cackles softly. Fine, eat! I'm going to try to eat you. Eat your greens. You look like a carrot. It's like, oh jeez, everything's bouncing. Okay. Mmm! Fresh morning taste. Oh dear. Haha. -ha. Smells like steamed carrots and peas. Hoi ah! Mmm! Farmed locally. Very locally. Yeah, I just picked you out of the ground. Now I'm going to eat you. Om nom nom. What? Not weakened enough. Weaker. There we go. I guess hitting it earlier or later does serve a purpose if you're trying to weaken the thing. Vegetoid seems kind of bruised. Om nom nom. <laughs> I just ate an enemy. Nom. Does that count as vor? <laughs> oh, hey, a ribbon. I'm curious to see what's in these other rooms. Oh, oh dear. Migosp. I'm gonna have to check on that thing. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Heed the swarm. What are you, freaking Borg now? Migosp, it's knitting its brow. Talk. I don't care. Oh dear. Ow. Balls. La la, just be yourself. Okay, so he actually did start coming through there. Good. There's another Vegetoid in there, but... Oh, what the heck, let's fight it. Gets me XP and whatnot. I need some XP. And I could heal myself, right? <laughs> Farm locally. Do 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 do. Ah, balls. You think I'd be better at these bullet hell type things? It's kind of a funny combination, really. I've never seen an RPG that uses bullet hell mechanics. Okay. Whew. Woo! Yeah. Nom. Nom 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 nom. Your love increased. Yay! My love increased by eating a sentient vegetable. That totally makes sense. Let's show mercy to that thing. Huh. Okay. Yay! Okay, let's flip that switch already. Ooh, the screen shook. Oh my. Alright. It's a switch. And I'm gonna be careful about that. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a change in perspective. Okay. Err... You! I'm going to eat you. Yeah, that's weird. Ow! Mm. Okay, dodge the vegetables. Eh. Darn it. Part of a complete breakfast. Indeed, I've eaten two of you already. Ow. 
Oh well. Okay. It's like, do I want to hit these switches? If you can read this, press the blue... I have to get rid of the other guy first when I'm dealing with one of those things. Ha! Legion, we are Legion. Oh dear, that's kind of scary. Ha! Hmm. Okay. Ow. Hey, there we go. Now that he's not with them, those enemies. Now he's fine. Guess it makes sense. Yeah. I was afraid those things were gonna pop up out of the ground at what? Switch. I did press the blue switch. Err. Leave me alone. I've got better to do. Oh dear. Grammatical errors. What happens if I press the other switches? Ah, balls. Okay. Looks a change in perspective, huh? What does that mean? Just there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Oh, so it like rotated. Oh. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. You can read this, press the green switch. Wait, green switch? Lukes and Co. decided to pick on you. I thought you didn't like being picked on, Lukes. Oh jeez, this is gonna be insane. Three enemies. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, I can spare the Lukes. Got rid of their leader there. Let's get rid of this Vegetoid. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. hi -ya! Mm. Filthy single minder. Okay. Ah, balls. Haha. -ha. I am going to eat you, Vegetoid. You will provide delicious HP. Nom 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 nom. Yay! Yay! 
Yes! I love increased... Green switch, though? Not green switch. I don't remember a green switch. Oh well. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> oh hi! How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. Sorry, I got curious. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. I'm sorry. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. I'm sorry. Are you trying to surprise me? Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Because everything gives you determination. Can't read that sign, though. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. And it's like the n one nice thing here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. I, okay. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. This game's being too cute. Something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh dear, the pie must be burning. <laughs> well, look at my room. Dude. This is like Pokemon or something. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> yeah, you're in like a crazy underground world there. What the... Oh, I thought it was a hat for some reason. <laughs> Slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. I thought I could look at the papers. Box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Ah, a light. Burns my eyes. Nah. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Lots of plants are like that. Tutorial's diary. Read the circled passage. Um, I'm sorry, my curiosity is getting the better of me. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh dear. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> Just a regular old bucket of snails. Oh dear. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. So that's what that thing is. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Is that a cactus? The cactus, truly the most sundry of sundry of plants. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I know what they're getting at. Just look it up on TV tropes or something, you'll understand. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. It's an odd mix of things. Oh, it is a water sausage. Hey, a mirror. That actually works. That's cool. Room under renovations. Dialing, even though it's in the house. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Oh, thank goodness you are a lady. That would have been so awkward if you weren't. Because uh, I thought you were this whole time. Uh, there's more to you than that. Come on. There's more to you than just a silly little old lady. Besides, you're not so little. You're like twice as tall as I am. Worn books read many times. Oh, hello. It's so homely in here. It's cute. Random page. 
Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> she would. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Yeah, but I won't, it's fire! Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Man, you're crazy prepared here. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, whoa, geez, facial expression change. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? I feel bad saying when I can, when can I go home? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I feel bad now. She's so nice. This is making me feel bad. This inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. What's 21X? Is that just the the decade? Whoa. What's up with your basement? I think you should play upstairs instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, no, don't go in the basement. Um, okay. Uh. <laughs> What's over here, I wonder? Whoa. Whoa. A knife, a toy knife. Okay. It's like an outlook of the city or something. There's quite a palace over there, isn't there? Oh, now I have to say that thing. Now I have to ask when can I go home. I guess if I were a child I would miss home, but dang it, she's so nice. I still want to see what the rest of these options do. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose... Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Dude, she's way too nice. This is gonna make me sound... Oh man, this is... That's awkward. Call her Mom and then flirt with her, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo, crazy little kid. Huh? Oh, heh, heh, <laughs> how adorable. I can pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you want to call me but Oh dear. <laughs> you are an interesting child. <laughs> Oh, the devs think of everything. <laughs> I was gonna say, that would be so weird. And it is. And they thought of that. Now I'm really curious. What if I didn't say that and just did that instead? My goodness, I'm having weird thoughts. Well, let's see here. Oh, okay, I guess it just quits. Oh, is there a way to return to the menu or something? Um... Well... Yes, we saw this. I have to know what the dialogue seems like. I, I have to know about the dialogue. Surprise. Yes, it's the butterscotch cinnamon pie. So, hold off on snail pie. Okay. <laughs> you certainly are an interesting child. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was funny. Hey, let's try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how adorable! I can pinch your cheek. You can certainly fight better than an old woman like me. Uh, oh dear, are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. First of all, you made me way too curious. With the dialogue options, the fact that you actually... That the game actually thought about... Yeah. My little one, the pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Okay, okay, I'll go take a nap. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I bet they thought of what happens if you do this too. After you've already done it. Huh? Did you just go? I suppose. That make you happy. Well then. <laughs> Okay, so it's not so awkward if you do it the other way around. <laughs> After you called me mother, you certainly are an interesting child. Yay. Butterscotch cinnamon pie. I wonder what a butterscotch cinnamon pie would taste like. Hmm. I never thought of that before. Up already. So many old books I want to share. To share. Yep, yep. <laughs> this facial, this facial change here. So it goes a surprise to you. I always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you there here. It's like, duh. Scary face for for just a second there. I, what this? This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? <laughs> sure. Exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Ew. Interesting. Yeah, certainly interesting. Okay. I have to do something. Stay here. What is she doing? Am I supposed to stay here? Um. Oh, wait, we already read this. Uh. There's one nice monster in here, and I'm making her feel bad. <laughs> well, there has to be a quest, I suppose, but she's just too nice. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you okay? Where'd you go? I'm back, I don't want you to feel bad. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? I have us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, no, I gotta get home. What do you mean you're just gonna destroy it? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Uh, do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. 
or what? Man. You're still only trying to be nice. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Um. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Tutorial. Attack 80, defense 80. Oh Christ. Knows best for you. Oh my heck. Oh my frick. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Well, yeah, after all the awkwardness, I... Damn. Ah. Ah. Oh, holy crap. Oh, gosh. Oh, my heck. Ah. Ah. Gosh. Oh, she's gonna freaking kill me. Ah. Uh. Spare. Mm. No. <sighs> Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh. Monster candy. Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah, balls. Ah, frick. Ah. Holy crap, she's strong. Oh my heck. Oh. The pie. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why do I have to fight her? This makes me sad. Come on. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. <sighs> Not doing very good at the bullet hell parts, am I? Ah. <sighs> yes. Damn. Oh. Psh, crap, I hit it twice on accident. Come on, I don't want to kill you or something. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, Keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Do not let them take your soul. Escor's plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Uh, what's going on? Be good, won't you? My child. Oh no! Uh, what the heck? Uh, uh, but, 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 Come on. Uh, uh, uh. 
for you. Uh -uh. Okay, I guess I'm going. I, but I killed her. But I, oh my! Okay, you. Hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> Shut up, Flowey! That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... Hee <laughs> hee. She couldn't even save herself. I'm gonna kill you, Flowey. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, I am going to cut you so bad, bitch. She saved me from you. Now you're being a dick. Oh. <laughs> Dude. That's... That's the demo to Undertale, I suppose. Oh, that ended on a sad note, didn't it? <laughs> hmm. She was being so sweet, and yet I had to kill her anyways. I didn't even want to. I wanted to show some mercy, but... BOOM! Uh, I, I guess I have to quit then. But uh, <sighs> that's sad. That's the first time a game's made me feel like crying in a long time. <laughs> it's just a little retro-styled game too. Well, I guess this is Tanara Kuranov signing off, and I have that thought to sleep on, I suppose. <laughs> to sleep on the thought. Oh, I have to sleep on the ending of this demo. Oh. So, see you when the next review rolls around. I'll review this one in the future because I've already backed it, but. Oh, that's sad. That's so very, very sad. <laughs> anyway, see you. See you next time on Gamer Mouse. <laughs> <laughs>